Question number five. We are told uh, in the figure below A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic quadrilateral is a four-sided figure that touches, uh, that is, the, the, whose vertices touches the circumference of the circle. As you can see, A touches the circumference, B touches the circumference, C and D. Okay, point O is the center of the circle. We have it there. Angle A, B, O. A, B, O is that. We have that. And angle A, D, O is 40. We have that. Calculate the size of angle B, C, D. This is the angle that we are required to calculate. Uh, so how are you going to get that angle? Uh, we can do that. You utilize uh, the, the fact uh, here that if we draw a line here, uh, we will be able to we will be able to get this angle, this angle here, and this angle. Why? Because this is the radius that is the radius and this will also be the radius so it means a o a o d is an isosceles triangle implying that this angle here is 40 degrees and a o b is 30 because uh, it's an isosceles triangle that means that we can come here and say uh, this angle here uh, this is b uh, a d is equals to 70 degrees that is the sum of 30 and 40 another property that we know is that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral add up to an 80 that is if we add uh, b a d you add to uh, you add to b c d they should add up to an 80 uh, and already we know that uh, we know B A D. So this we have said it is seventy uh, plus uh, B C D is equals to one eighty degrees. Uh, this means we get uh, our B C D is equals to one eighty degrees minus seventy degrees, and that should give you uh, one hundred and ten degrees. Uh, so this angle here is 110 degrees and that is how you work out that question. You'll be able to get yourself two marks.